Hello everyone, game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals, first round between Ottawa and Boston. Ottawa taking a 2-1 a lead into this game after a 2-0 comeback in game 3. Oh, Carlson looked a bit ginger coming up from that hit, coming in here. But, yeah, Ottawa on winning two in a row now, outscoring the opponents, doing what they have to do besides one period of play, and that was the first. They First in game three, they haven't let in a goal. So they've been really good, Ottawa. Boston needs to kind of be a little bit worried here. Because anything can happen in this game. This can either tie it or Ottawa can take that hold in that series. And now, Konica's got it now. Konica just trying to spin around, just trying to take it easy. Gives it to that. Oh, and a face off. The net is off its moorings. Good little build up there by Ottawa, so I mean Boston probably took a little bit of a break from that. Now Carlson's got it. He fires a bomb, it gets saved by Rask. Now Carlson's got it again. Fires another bomb, it goes wide. And all of a sudden, Ottawa has a little bit more jump in the step than they did at the end of that first period. Now, Boston trying to get it in. They can't. Savard's hit. And now Boychuk to Fulk. Fulk fire is blocked by Riley. Now, Boston again, Savard. Fulk to Boychuk. Haram. And he gets blocked by Konica. Oh, and then it got left there. No one was around. Spooner ripped it. And it is 1 0 again. Boston strikes first to TD Guns again. Karan and Boychuk. You see there, Konica just couldn't, was just had too much momentum. He couldn't go back and get the park. Ellaby was too busy looking to check besides getting the park. And Anderson just, I mean, there's no stopping that for Anderson. But it's 1 0 again. And Ottawa have to look down again and try, try come back. And now, Spetzer with it. Again, not, nothing really going on of his way in this first period, which is the same as last time. Just not really getting the shots on, not really able to do much. There's a penalty behind the play, but Van Riemstrike, CeCe, tries to get it in. Van Riemstrike's got it. Van Riemstrike fires it, but Rask is there again to make a save. Van Riemstrike can't get it in. Now we go back to two-minute power play. Both teams' power plays have been very ineffective. Very ineffective. Here we go. Quaid wins it. Spetzer has it, however. Spetzer now. Trying to dipsy doodle in. Spetzer! Rask with the glove stands tall. Spetzer's got it again, however. He still has it. Must have had the puck for about a minute now. Spetzer's still got it. Spetzer trying to do something with it. Trying to spin around. Spetzer still has it. Spetzer trying to get it through. He can't. And Milan McCulloch has it now. Milan just trying to get it through to someone. And he ends up being broke as they try to get it through to CC. They throw the puck up. That was a bad throw up. That just wastes time. Anderson there just should have passed it out, but he didn't. And now we're dealing with this. Just oh, and all of a sudden that got a bit risky there as well. But Carlson has it now. After all that time being wasted, and there still is another ineffective power play. This series, the power play has just been horrible for both teams. Just horrible. Or oh, tries to go backhand. Anderson was there to cover it, but O'Reilly trying to do something here. Trying to do a spin. Doesn't quite pay off for him. Corey Conacher has it, but Corey Conacher goes round to O'Reilly. O'Reilly comes round, tries to stuff it in. Rask is there, but trying to trick Rask a bit. O'Reilly now tries to get it through short. He can't. Ryder has got it now. Now Booth. Booth has it. Booth firing one, and that doesn't go in. Rask is there to stop that one. They're starting to get shots, but this is a worrying sign. If you are a... Oh, no. Almost a breakaway there. But I was going to say, if you are a Boston fan, you'll be a little bit worried. I just... What exactly has been happening in this last little bit of play? I know you're up. Oh, he tries to stuff it in. He can't. And now we go again. Booth with a tries to fire a rocket. It doesn't quite pan out. Bruner tries to get there for the hit. Yoko, guy who opened the account in game three.
tries to get in the zone. He doesn't. He gets bumped off the park. And now Bruno has it. Bruno has it. Trying to get it to Milan. It works. Milan tries to fire Bruno with the backhand. Ross fights off both. And again, this game just still seesawing. Carlson trying to fire something in. Five seconds to go. Three, two, just the big hit at the end. They'll fly a shot. And that'll be it for Ottawa for this period. 1 0 down. Boston have the lead. And this just really takes one goal, doesn't it? One goal, and, you know, that, I mean, Boston are winning, but they're not looking good thus far. And there's the saves by Ross, just amazing. The Carlson block shot. And then this, this is all it was, really, just bang. Hit in, went in. That's all you need. 1 0. And we'll take a look at the, I mean, shots at 9 2. So that says a lot about this game. I mean, Rask has won games like this before, however. Uh, I don't think with that with such good scoring chances, but we'll see what he can do. He can muster a win. The series is tied. And that's if Ottawa plays this well for three periods, which I don't know if they can. And now Carlson fires one. It's fought off by Rask. Wow. An absolute point blank rocket. Top shelf and Rask gets there. Boy, he has been good. Besides that one, one little stretch of time in, third, in that third game, he's been absolutely phenomenal. And if Boston get through, it's because of Rask. And Hamilton now has it. He gets poke checked. Trying to get it up now. Carlson with a little bit of space, but he just doesn't have enough. There was a nice little couple of moves there. But now he's just sort of getting, trying to get everything set up. Ellaby fires it into a Boston leg. Sal's out again. O'Reilly has it. Just trying to get there. CeCe's got it now. CeCe fires one. And it goes up in the netting. Almost in the netting from Rask. Again, just stopping everything. Just being solid. Not, not making rebounds. Not doing anything as Rask thus far. He's been very good. Right up. Trying to do something here. The thought ends up thing ends up with a check. There's a Boston. Hey dude. Makes the save, Anderson. And now the puck will start coming out again. Ryan O'Reilly will just dunk it in. I think that's a safe play here. But they need to start getting scoring chances as well. Big hit behind the play, but they'll be icing. That will be icing. Corvo will cover that up. First lines will come out. The first offensive and defensive lines for Ottawa. Almost exactly halfway through the game. Carlson now. With a chance to, to maybe do something here. Spetsa. Carlson. Carlson just trying to do something. And Reemstike plays broken up. And again, just not able to get that, that forward pressure going this period as they were in the last. Unrewarded too. Milan McCulloch now, the game three hero, scoring the game winner. Milan coming around here, trying to get it in front. Van Riemsdyk's held up, but Boston comes it out, gets it out of the zone, into the offensive zone. Yoko, he's going to try find a pass, but he just can't. Spooner was there again, almost ended with two goals for him. Raymond, haven't seen a multiple goal game yet thus far. Raymond, he's going to fall, oh, and he has a horrible pass to Booth. Just woeful. The end. Gets the puck in deep. Anderson's got it, he'll fire it up the ice. Trying to do something. Ellaby now has it. Ellaby fires it. And Rask is there again. Mr. Reliable. In net. Filatov. He's got to try to do something. He's been very quiet this series. Gives it Ellaby, he fires a rocket into someone's leg. And now O'Brien coming around. He's going to try to get a rocket off to Ellaby. Ellaby saves it. Schnell's got it now. Schnell to Ellaby. He fires one and that goes right wide. Boy, now Mathot has it. Mathot coming into the zone. Just going nice and slow. Staying within his skill level. Mathot crashing the net, but no real skill there. Mathot just trying to win a puck here. Doesn't quite work out. That's why he's a defender. And this might get held up for icing at will. Dunked in by Boston again. Just relentless pressure thus far from Ottawa. But again, nothing for it, really. And face-off win. 
Tries to give it to O'Reilly coming in off the face off. Limited time, four seconds, three, two, and one, and that will be the game. Ah, uh, the period, sorry, <laughs> I do apologize. The second period done. One nil is the end of that score. Rask standing on his head, making 13 saves. Anderson making two out of three. Oh, so third period, this is where Ottawa just have to throw everything at it almost. They can't afford it. They really want to take this lead here. They do not want another game. They want to be able to make it 3-1, take the stranglehold, go back into Ottawa and win it. But, you know, it's a nice thing to write down on paper, however, they still have to do it. They would have to come back behind, from behind in Boston again to do it, so that's no easy feat. Oh, and it's going to go all the way to the end. Ice. Ice puck. So now Otto is having problems icing the puck. And face-off win by Spetsa. Van Riemsdyk turns it over to Yurko. Hey Duke! Beautiful save. That could have been that could have been very deadly. For the Ottawa Senators. That could have thrown this game out of the water. But it still didn't. Van Riemsdyk scores off a beautiful Carlson pass. Carlson got, got free again to set up that play. It's one all. Carlson and Anderson, just like before with the Spetzer goal, and Van Riemsdyk just getting free, just there, just the stick, and all of a sudden it's one all, there is life in this game, 15.53 to go, Carlson with another point, that's three for him thus far this series, boy you'd love a fourth, you'd love the game winner, to Van Riemsdyk, shooting it, he opened up his account just then. Giving it to Carlson. Carlson fires a rocket. It just sails a little bit wide. Spetsa tries to get it in. Van Riemsdyk was on the doorstep, but Rast handled it all again. As I just keep saying, Rask has been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, and that's going to end in a fight. That is going to end in definite fisticuffs. You can't be doing that. Oh, that puts... Well, that's not, it didn't end up going, but you thought it was. Four and four, unsportsmanlike conduct. So two minutes, a little bit more ice. Hamilton's got it now to Machard. Machard to Bergeron, he's trying to get free, he does, gets a shot, Anderson does it, but he was, he was poke checked throughout the whole thing, so it's pretty hard to get a to get a real good shot off. McCulloch a little bit free, but just can't, can't really do anything with it. O'Reilly tries to find him. Back to five on five hockey we go. It's my thought, just tries to sort of caress the puck in. Someone's just trying to get there, no one is. It's going to go offside again, so Milan McCulloch trying to bring it in, trying to make too many moves. Corvo's got it now. No, Anderson's got it. The thought to Booth. Tries to get a pass into no man's land. And all of a sudden now there's a little bit of a play brewing up. Oh, Smith trying to pass it to Bergeron. Bergeron forces a penalty. That is not something Ottawa wanted. Oh, and the puck's loose! Smith puts it onto Anderson. Save made. 16 6 in shots, but it's a two minute power play now with seven to go. Boychuk. He's got it now. Trying desperately to find someone free. They do! Oh, and it's been tipped in by Krejci! Rebound loose, and Krejci puts it in. It's 2-1 in Boston. David Krejci has been very quiet all series long. Puts it in. First goal. Savard and Hayduk get the assists. Just there. Just loose. Puts it in. Now all of a sudden. This game turns on its head. Seven minutes, 11 to go. Is there enough time for Ottawa to score one goal? It's not done yet, but for Boston, they're, they're looking good. I mean, I wouldn't want to be betting against them, but Ottawa have come back before. Not quite in such dire circumstances, but they have come back. Now, trying to just force the turnover. Konica can't get there. Neither can Ryder. O'Reilly fires it. It doesn't go in. Rask is there again. Again, just being stellar. Hey, Duke. Four minutes to go. Oh, 
trying to get free. Little rebound there by Anderson, but ended up being worked out. And now O'Brien. O'Brien trying to muscle out Chara. He does, actually. Finds Filatov. Filatov puts it in. Puts it on net, but it just doesn't go. Schnell has it. The enforcer, who has done almost nothing this series. Put it on net. It hits someone. It went wide. And, well, you've got to wonder. Tuka Rask. Just phenomenal. Look at these saves. That is just amazing. Quickly turn, calling their timeout. Now Ottawa giving a breather to their to their front man. They, they realize there's a chance here. There's a minute 52 to go. They've, they've got to score a goal. When do they pull their goalie if they do? All these questions sort of come up, don't they? Carlson now has it. And he's tripped up. A minute 38 to go. Ottawa goes on a power play. A chance. A real chance now. It's Chara. Just tries to sort of hold out. A minute 22 to go. Oh, Boston just having to waste a bit of time here. A minute to go. I don't think Otto will pull it straight away. They'll probably have a bit of time with their power play first, but you have to admit they're probably not going to be too. Probably not going to hold it for too long without pulling their goalie. Oh, it tries to put it in. Spetzer with a shot there. Carlson with a rocket. It goes in. Van Riemsdyk on a tip in. Carlson free. Put in a bomb and Carlson tipped it in. 41.5 seconds to go. And the game is 2 all. Carlson and Cece with the assists. Van Riemsdyk with two goals. Carlson with two points. My goodness. Just beautiful play there. Ross couldn't do anything. And all of a sudden, two teams who have had horrible power plays all year, all, power, all playoffs, put in two power play goals and the score's tied. Spetzer now. Just trying to do something. Are we bound for overtime or is there more in this 34 seconds? Now Boston just trying to get find someone who's free. Riley Smith is trying to get a Mershon and the shot's blocked beautifully. But the puck still trickles out. Drop stick there. Now Milan McCulloch comes in to Spetzer. Tries to find Spetzer. He doesn't. Van Riemsdyk buddy finds. Van Riemsdyk trying to go to the net all the way. Milan McCulloch harassing him. Spencer! Oh, and he put it wide! With four seconds to go! And that'll be the period. That will be the regulation time. And again, for the second time this series, overtime required. Due to Van Riemsdyk tying it up with 41 seconds to go. Oh my goodness, that was the first goal. After that, it really just could have been anything. There's the second Van Riemsdyk just putting it in. Making it two all. And all of a sudden this this series is well and truly alive. Every game has been decided by one goal. 20 shots to 10. And again, game four, I can tell you. I don't know when, I don't know who, but this game will be decided by one goal. Now Spetzer wins the face off. Gets it in. Van Riemsdyk, could he go the hat trick to win it? Spetzer goes in. Spetzer fires it. A little bit scary play for Boston fans there. Carlson's got it now. Carlson puts it in. Spetzer trying to do something there. Couldn't quite get, pull it off. It's a two on one now. Two on one. Mershon trying to get there. Van Riemsdyk. Where's the puck? Puck there. It's gone to Carlson's stick. Mr. Dependable finds Konica. Konica's away. Konica trying to get it to Van Riemsdyk. Just couldn't do it. Big reach stick of Chara. Stop that play. It's tracks. Ellaby now. Coming in. Ellaby fires it. Tries to get it on net. He doesn't, but Spetzer tries to get it in. He tries to do something. There's a little backhand. Easily saved by Rask, however. Beautiful poke check there by Clark, by Carlson. To Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk fires it. Rask save. Now Van Riemsdyk going again. Driving the net. Spinning round. Trying to find Mathot, he does, Mathot! Rask was well and truly out of his net, don't know if there was goaltender interference there. No harm done, no penalty, no goal. And now, Boston, trying to get to the net! 
Oh, and Anderson got there in time. The Boston player sort of held up the puck for a little bit. And that might have been the downfall in the end. Delphi. Delphi fires and that doesn't go. Raymond with a big hit. All of a sudden chances, back to back chances here. Both teams just trying to do something. David Booth. Booth now. I don't think he saw Schnell was all the way up there. Could have been a Schnell breakaway. Oh, wouldn't that been something to see the enforcer coming in on a breakaway. This is not the line probably Ottawa wants out right now. But needless to say it is. Schnell goes round one. Tries to find Filatov. Oh, and he did, but he shot it wide. He just held it for too long. My goodness. And it's an offside. Everyone gets a breather now. But this game has just turned into chaos. 7.31 to go in the, in the overtime. Carlson tries to fire it in. Ryder now. Ryder's got it. Ryder tries to stuff it in wide. Doesn't quite work out. It's a three on one now. They've got to do this perfectly in Boston, but they don't. Thornton's got it. Thornton saved by Anderson. Thornton still has it. And Thornton scores. The puck was loose. And he just got ahead of it. And Boston win game four. This series is now 2-2. And Boston again have found a way to win it in overtime. Just Carlson, after having such a great game, stuffs up on this play, overskates it. Just praying that Anderson finds it, but he doesn't. And Thornton wins the game. And here are the highlights. Yeah, there was the, there was the goal by Van Riemsdyk. But tie it. Anderson making some good saves where he had to. But again, there was a good goal by Krejci. But, certainly after Van Riemsdyk put it in. However, it was short-lived. Uh, the hope was short-lived until Thornton buried it. And 3-2, and again, Boston win it in overtime. It's two in a row. The series is two all. Home ice advantage, however, is on. 25 shots. The Stars, Van Riemsdyk, Thornton. And you guessed it, Rask again. One hell of a save percentage. Anyway, that's game four. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.